just a massive game this week. Obviously, you're in good form. How's the feeling in the club? Oh, they're all big games. Um, yeah, good. I mean, players are confident. Um, got to be a confidence back. They've been in really good spirits all year and um, their attitude's been great and they've been, uh, yeah, wanting to improve. So I haven't seen any different this week. The last two weeks, I've got some stats from Champion Dark. Two minutes ago, saying you, I think you've won the contested possession the last two weeks, clearances, <coughs> points from inside 50, all those real key indicators. Um, what's the difference in the last two weeks compared to the first six? I always play more instinctive. Yeah, and we're trusting ourselves. That's that's yeah. That's um, thought we were consumed in our own heads at the start of the season. Um, yeah, and we've been able to free our players up to play their roles and play a bit more instinctive. You said consumed in your own heads just then. A couple of presses I came to at the preseason. Guys were saying they're not putting any limits on where the club can go, <coughs> etc. Hmm. Was that a case of looking too far ahead then? No, I don't think so. Ahead? I just think um, yeah we. High, higher expectations this year. Um, losing the first two put a fair bit of pressure on us, and um, yeah, it's taken a little, little bit of time to to get out of that. Um, and it's our know, team expectations, but you know, a lot of our players have got individual expectations in, you know, that they put on themselves because they want to improve their footy and um, didn't didn't quite click for us early in the season. But being able to uh, get past that, and yeah, we're playing with a bit more freedom now and. Players are just going out there expect, um, executing their roles and, um, yeah, it's it's come out and what it's come out in the last two weeks. What do you need to see from that this week, the rest of the week, to make sure that he's ready to play full game? Uh, oh, it's probably not really what we need to see. You just need to make, make sure he's, um, yeah, his foot's pulled up well uh, and, he's, and he's confident enough. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, it's, it's a bit of a step up. He's been playing you know, 40 minutes the first week and probably 30 minutes on the weekend. It's a bit of a step up to play you know, 80, 90 minutes. So we just need to make sure he's really confident in his foot and in his confidence in his performance. Have you thought about the split yet between forward and midfield <coughs> if he does play a full game? I'll work that out after training. Does the quality of opposition affect your decision-making in Uh No, not really. No, no it's oh, – oh, because <laughs> – yeah, uh, clearly if he's he's really confident and he's yeah, he's feeling really confident in his foot and um you know he feels like his game is getting back to where where it was like, yeah, it's going to help us against a good opposition so um yeah we'll just weigh it up it's, it's whatever's best for him and the club. I think what the Dockers fans would like to know from you, hear from you is can you still play finals? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hear that, but we're focused on Geelong. Yeah, we'll get the process right. We'll be right. Like it's, yeah, I know people want to talk about what happens at the end of the year. I'm worried about what's happening today and this weekend. Are you confident though that you can still challenge? I'm confident we're on the right path. Yeah, and I'm confident the first part of the year was a hiccup and um, yeah, we're going to be a more consistent side going forward. And does, does the coach do numbers? you got four wins, you say you're going to need another eight for the rest of the season. Have you, do you... Are you allowed no. to look like that? Or do you no, no, because it just doesn't help, Barra. Mm. <laughs> what helps is making sure I prepare the, the players the best I can for this week. That's what helps. So um, that's what I'm consumed with. And your forward line, uh, the three tools, is, is there anything you've done differently to help them perform and work <coughs> together? Like early in the season, three tools didn't work. Now it's working. Or is it just Jackson's emerge, lesser competition? What, what do you think it is, Jarrah? Uh, well... You know, there's going to be a different challenge this weekend. Like we're playing against a more mature back line. Like Sydney had a few issues with their, their tall backs in particular. But I mean, it's been an ongoing process trying to get our players to play with a bit more isolation. And um, you know, it wasn't just the tall forwards. I thought our small forwards complemented them with their running patterns and they created a lot of space for our tools on the weekend. So, And then there's the confidence piece where, you know, JT went back and worked on a few areas of his game and, you know, came, he's, coming, he's come back a more confident player. Jai is getting more games under his belt and Jacko's feeling a bit more confident and familiar in the surroundings and, and playing with his teammates and hence is taking, you know, more of, taking more of his opportunities. So it's, it's never one thing, but... It's uh, been a work in progress and it tick for, uh, clicked for us on the weekend and you now we've got another challenge, a good challenge coming up against a really mature back line. And with Jacko, is it, would it be right to say, you know, early on when you come to a new club, it does take a while to 
and sit into the position, find out where you have to get in, <coughs> what blokes do, which way they kick, all that sort of stuff. And now he's sort of working it out. So it's not un. You know, no, you're that. spot on. Well, it, it is hard, and it's even harder for um, tall forwards who come and you're, you're right. They don't know, you know, sometimes which leg they're going to roll on, when they're going to roll, um, you know, where they, where or how they like to kick the ball. Um, you know, the kicker doesn't know where Jacko wants the ball sometimes because uh, he's not as predictable as whoever used to play there. So, um, yeah, there's a number of different factors, but we're, we're starting to grasp it, and we're still going to have our ups and downs. But I think we've seen what he can offer the side and. While we got him here, Justin, good problems to have is the fact you got a lot of good players in the waffle play pretty well. Uh, Henry had 20 yeah. disposals, 11 tackles. Emmett's continuing to play really well, and then Johnson's back from suspension. Do you look at many changes considering he had a good win last week? Well, this really, really comes back to you know, who played and executed their role, and we've had that in the AFL side the last couple of weeks. So, um, and that was no different not against Sydney. Um, so there won't be a heap of changes, but. Yeah, you're right. We've got a lot of players um, performing well at, at Peel. Um, you know, I think they're sitting on top of the ladder or, or close to. So, uh, yeah, it's good. It's a good position to be in. The uh, fact that we've got a lot of players in form, and you know, Jono comes back from suspension, and you know, we've been really pleased with what Neil's done since he came into the side. So, there's, yeah, they're the good problems to have. Yeah, the win last year against Geelong down in Geelong was seen as one of the famous wins of his club, and. A catalyst for that season. Do you expect Geelong to come over here looking for a bit of revenge? Uh, no, I'm not sure they'd be framing it up like that. Uh, but you know, I'd probably forget about last year and focus on the now. And yeah, they've they're playing good footy. Um, you know, since round three, they've you know, only lost one game, I think, and you know, top of the top of the stat sheet, number one in a lot of different areas. So um, you know, we'll come over there here and we'll respect them, but need to. Look at areas where we feel like we can get them, and um, yeah, we need to play our brand as well and, and keep building on uh, last week. So, yeah, I probably don't look at last year too much. Probably see it as a new challenge. The number of um, chase down tackles that occurred against the Swans is that something you've been reinforcing this week with the players <coughs> out on the training track? Yeah, I, we haven't got the training yet, but definitely a lot of that stuff got highlighted in our team review. Uh, there's a lot of trademark efforts where. Yeah, we just we just went and it was instinctive and I think it's when we're when we're playing our best footy, our pressure's up. Um, so yeah, we thought out we pressured really well. Seventy two tackles at you know it's over seventy percent on the weekend, so we tackled really well and that's a sign that we're in form. Do you feel like that's sort of the standard now, you know, week in, week out, especially seeing, you know, blokes like Schultz, Frederick, Swickhouse you put on those pressure acts against the Swans? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, it's standard we try and keep. I, I don't think our pressure's been terrible this year. I think it's been at a pretty high standard, and I think our forwards have been pressuring pretty well um, inside 450 majority of the year. But, yeah, it went to another level on the weekend. So uh, we want to keep, try and keep it there. Back on Geelong, obviously the biggest challenge with them at times is the two-prong forwards. We saw Nathan Broad did a bit of a job on Jeremy Cameron at the week. <coughs> you guys did a job mm. on him last year. How much do you look at those two games and try and work out how to stop him? Yeah, he presents some different challenges, obviously, with his um, athleticism and his ability to go to different spots and get up the ground. So we will need to put some plans in place for uh, where where he where he lines up um, throughout the game. But yeah, it's yeah we would you know, we'd need to worry about Hawkins and, and Cameron and and all their dangerous small forwards. But yeah, we just need to have a team approach as well, and we can't get too locked into individuals because it tends to pull us apart a bit when we do that. So. Try and find that balance. Sean Darcy uh, looks like <coughs> almost your most important player at the moment. Can you say something about his game last week, which is stats wise is extraordinary? Well, to be honest, I think he's had an extraordinary year and he's playing some really good footy. And I think he's um, you know, pushing to be you know, one of the top ruckmen in the comp and uh, you know, his ability to get his hands on it um, in at stoppage, uh, his marking ability around the ground, but I think his follow-up's gone to another level as well. So, yeah, he's he gave our mids first look and it was the, probably the, the best we've been able to capitalise on his ruck work uh, throughout the year. So that's a good step forward. And the stats showed you settled down the midfield to four blokes mostly. Is that because he was going so well or is that how you had planned it anyway? Or? Oh, it's probably a few more that went through there. Like Jacko went through there as a mid at times. Um, Switter went through there as a mid at times. Um, Fife in the last quarter went through there a little bit, so we probably had a few more numbers than that.
the three twelves up forward in uh, Amos, Tracy and Jackson. Do you feel like that's, um, you know, potentially the formula you could be sticking with throughout the year? Potentially. But, um, yeah, there might be horses for courses a little bit and might be times when we need to go a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, so we haven't locked that in, but definitely worked for us well on the weekend and we'll go with it again this week. This club has a proud history of First Nations people. How much does this round mean to this club? Yeah, like you, you, you hit the nail on the head. We've got a, I think there's only been one game where we haven't had um, an Indigenous player represented in our team. So, you know, uh, Dale Kickett and Troy Cook were a couple of the players that I played a lot of footy with and loved playing with them. Um, yeah, and this is a very special couple of weeks where we've changed our name to Wally Up, but it's also an opportunity for us to wear the Alex Pierce inspired um, in, yeah, Indigenous Guernsey as well, Guernsey as well. So, yeah, it's a you know, very special time. Um, yeah, and I, I love the, I love, um, the education around it and I love the... Um, yeah, the fact that it brings it front of mind for a lot of people. So, yeah, I'm really proud.